Tashioka stands in. A cool 400 for Tashioka. And sees that one line right back up the middle. And Christian Moore ranging to his right. Tashioka slides and he's safe. Mental things that they were working through, physical things. And Tashioka will try to get second, but he is thrown out. Coming up, he had himself a night, the freshman phenom at the dish a night ago as that one is swung on and missed. Strike three, the first strikeout tonight. Ebest, the senior from Austin, Texas, sees this one in and sharply hit on the ground. Christian Moore is there, throw down low. Blake Burke able to snag it off the ground for out number three. This season, he, he's typically been the midweek starter for Tennessee as he gets strikeout number two there. Getting the plan. 2-2 from Seacrest is lined back up the middle, dying is that baseball, and it'll fall right in front of the center fielder, Kavaris Tears, second base knock of the contest. Thompson Allen. Base knock away from taking the lead, but strike three is called. But the guys on this roster, as he'll line that one right side into the shift, but it'll get by and down for a base hit. Kavaris tears with hit number one on the afternoon for Tennessee. And then the Hattiesburg Super Regional and made it back to Omaha again this season. Bargo will roll over that one. This could be two for Southern Indiana. And it is. What a pick down at first by the first baseman, Thomas Emmerich. Weekend after weekend. Dryling sees that one just outside and Tennessee will get their second base runner of the contest. Why sides 0-2. Swung on and missed. Filthy off speed in the dirt. And he will walk off the mound and get a big strike out of Cannon Peoples here in the second. And Wise Height, they've done a really good job of getting ahead in the count. And Seacrest shutting it down with a strikeout on a nasty breaking ball. I love that part of the game. I think that effective base running can absolutely kill a defense by putting pressure on them. And Xander Seacrest killing this pitch here for strikeout number five today. The pitch is upstairs and Tashioka. Basically a chase pitch where you try to get the hitter to swing themselves out. And one, two is line right side on the ground for a base hit. Tashioka will slam on the brakes. It's a two-out single for Niehaus, and Southern Indiana's got something cooking here in the third. Colored grass, as the turf is, and Dean Curley's going to call everyone off here and make the grab for out number three. And work on that arm. And Christian Moore will line that one over the second baseman for a base hit. Christian Moore will watch that one bounce in, and it's a two-out single for Christian Moore. It's 25 in these pinstripes for Tennessee, as that one is lined to the second baseman and grabbed on a line, Lane Croden. And that's strike three called. Xander Seacrest, have yourself a night. Strikeout number six for Z on the mound. Him. He's the swaggiest, and I, I actually agree with him. I, I see a lot of confidences. Holy cow, another strikeout from Seacrest. Anderson, as the 1 0 comes in, and that one's another base hit. Second hit of the night for Tarek Thompson Allen. He's got half the hit so far tonight. As that one is lined deeply into right field, back at the track. And the catch will be made by Bargo, short of the short porch. National flavor with some Japan, a Japanese player, Venezuelan product, and a couple youngsters from Puerto Rico on a Wednesday for Tennessee. Looking to cap off the midweek at 2-0, and he gets strikeout number nine. Loses the hat in the process. Seacrest looking for strikeout number 10. Won't get it, but rolling over that one is Tashioka. Far over to first from Christian Moore is in time. And the Screaming Eagles go one, two, three in the fifth. As Dylan Dryling will see this 0-1 in. That one is blooped into left field and back over the left fielders headed off the wall. Dryling hit that one on a rope and it just kept on tracking. 
and Dylan Dryling will slide in with a leadoff double. The one, two. It swung on and missed, strike three. The 0-2. Oh swung on and check swing and he is gone. Three pitches, three strikes and an out for Gavin Morris. Two strikeouts quickly. You love that as a pitcher, but as a hitter, not so much. That one will get by the catcher and roll all the way to the backstop. He bats 562 with runners on base and he swings at that one. Gavin Morris, have yourself an inning for his third time tonight. This is the three hole spot in this order. That one is jacked out to center field and it is off the batter's eye. Southern Indiana has came to play. The Screaming Eagles take their lead. It's one to nothing. We knew it was bound to happen at some point. Southern Indiana. Trilling in this game. You gotta think the bats will start to get going for Tennessee now as Seacrest fires in strikeout number 10 on the night. Get back in the dugout and get the bats rolling for Tennessee. And that'll be a two hopper to Curly. Fire over to first is in time for out number three. And Moore launches that to right field. Where will that one land? Goodbye. Christian Moore has tied this one up with one swing of the bat. And we're knotted up at one in Knoxville. Christian Moore answers the solo home run by Southern Indiana with a solo shot of his own. It's a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Christian Moore with a little oppo taco action. Hits that one on a rope. That one might have landed in the Tennessee River off a hop. The right fielder took about four or five steps and watch out in the right field. That bus really gotten hot. He shot a couple Hot shots to the left side. That one's a hot shot to the right side, and it'll get down and under a glove for a base hit. But Amick looked over there and goes, I kind of like those guys. As he strikes out there, Amick outside the friendly confines. Tears will roll over that one. Will that one shoot the gap? Yes, sir, it will. Rounding first, or er, now the second is Blake Burke. He'll slide in, and Tennessee will have runners on the corners for Dalton Bargo. The pitch is blooped left side. That should be enough. Burke will race in from third. The throw is cut off, and Tennessee's got a 2-1 lead. Dalton Connect, 14 points for Tennessee, as often stealing his tears. Swung on and missed, though, and strike out number one for Gitas. Digging the turquoise glove as well. That one's strike three. Kirby Cannell with a punch out here in the seventh. I think he's a great example to some of the younger pitchers on staff. That one lined out to tears in right field. Here in his fifth season on Rocky Top, 2.77 ERA as he'll get a slow roller over to third. And firing over to first is Billy Amick for out number three. Eight pitches, three outs for Kirby Cannell. And I will say that thing knotted up and hurt for weeks. For Robin Villeneuve. Again, batting 423, but another strikeout for the Southern Indiana staff. The pitch is line left side. Dean Curley on one leg. He'll have to hurry with this one, and Tashioka beats that one out easily. It's a one out base runner for Southern Indiana in the eighth. This one lined down, and Christian Moore will make a nice diving grab. One hops it to Blake Burke. What a play from Christian Moore for out number two. Of trouble here in the eighth. The pitch swung on and missed. Strike three, Kirby Cannell. The stash jumps off the mound. Hudson's 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. Strike three, and Southern Indiana slams the door shut. Pinnell has been on the staff for five of the seven years that Tony Vitello has been the head man here, and he gets a strikeout. Big first out here in the ninth for Kirby Cannell. 
And he'll line that one over to the right side. And Tegua in for defensive purposes, but flies that one into the dugout. And Emmerich will be awarded second base. The 0 2. Strike three called. Thompson Allen goes down looking for Southern Indiana. And he dribbles that one. Will it stay up in time? It will. And Ariel Antigua made the error in the inning, but makes the grab to end this one. And Tennessee takes a sigh of relief, a 2-1 win here today.